Hello everyone, and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. I cannot even begin to tell you all how excited I am to finally be back. I was sick. I was very, very sick. And I just, I had to make sure. I told myself, just give yourself an extra week, Bev. And then after that week, I was like, give yourself another week. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling so much better. I still hear it in my voice. And, you know, I do still cough a little bit here and there, but for the most part, I am feeling so good and just ready for 2023 adventures here at the cottage. Um, I had to actually, um, okay. So being sick, one can really, at least to me, can do quite a bit of damage in shopping while being in bed. So anyways, because of that, I'm having to have two shopping hauls. So we have a shopping haul today, first of the year, then this Sunday, okay, tune in. We have the Sunroom Decorating Marathon. Then next week, two videos again. I'm gonna have part two of a decorating haul, and then we are going into the living room because we have a mood wall to make. So for those of you who have not yet followed me on Instagram or Facebook, go on over, find the little blue fly, and subscribe. That being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, right here, we are at the kitchen counter. Again, um, pay no attention to how the counter is off-center. Um, someday, never. It's going to get fixed. Um... And, and before I go any further, I just really, um, I want to thank you all for so much support, so much love, so much concern um, during my absence. It really meant a lot to me and just gave me that extra comfort that I needed when I was under my covers being sick. So thank you so, so much. Okay, so here on the countertop, I have a fabulous um, antique basket, although I am pointing to my copper measuring cups up at top. Um, I believe I shared those already. Um, uh, uh, I just absolutely love them. They are vintage copper measuring cups that can be displayed in so many different ways. I just wanted to place them up there. Um, because pretty much that's where they're going to be staying for right now. Um, but I will be sharing other items that go along well with those cups. Okay, here back to um, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful antique basket. Um, love the hardware on this. I mean, very rarely do we come across such baskets. I have decor on the inside. I have decor everywhere, actually. My house is a mess. I have so much catch up to do. But anyhow, this basket is in beautiful condition for being so old. Was, of course, a Facebook marketplace find. Um, she was storing it for her mother and her mother decided to um, finally part with it. So it has come to a home that it's going to love very much. So we're going to keep on working our way down this countertop. Okay, this is a beauty right here, everyone. Another Facebook Marketplace find. Um, a serviceman actually brought this piece back from France. They purchased it at a flea market there. I'm going to take the beeswax candle off the top. Now, this candle holder actually came with the candle. And it's about, oh, if I'm remembering correctly, four inches wide, the beeswax. And I'm really trying to find another one and having a hard time. But look at this, or it's so heavy, so heavy, solid brass, very ornate, just a gorgeous piece. I knew I had to have this piece when I saw it on Facebook. Again, the dangers, oh my gosh, of Facebook Marketplace when you are sick. Shopping from bed, ugh, okay. So anyhow, um, the candle, getting back to the beeswax candle, if any of you, look how large this base is. So I need at least a four to five inch wide beeswax candle, and I like the waffle look, and I'm having 
the hardest time finding one of these. So if any of you know of a site, please, please, please um, leave me a message either in the comments or reach out to me privately through my email that's linked in the description box um, because I would love to get a few more of these. It's like I can find some, but then it doesn't have this exact color and I want that warm honey color. It just looks so pretty with um, the brass. Okay, so we're moving right along. This is going to be a long one today. Okay, this was a Christmas gift from my husband. And um, I made sure to take the price tag off. I will link it in the description box. These are um, designer drapes by Sherry Klein. They come in this taupe color and also red. Um, they can be purchased from Horchow. Um, again, I will share the link or um, Neiman Marcus. But I believe for us women that really love drapery, we should at least in our lifetime, this is just me now, I believe that we should own one pair at least of designer drapery. And here's my pair. I just brought it up to my husband how I would love these and um, he was so kind and purchased them for me I cannot wait to place them up in the living room um, doing several changes this year so much color is going to be added um, into the home quite a bit of painting is taking place in the living room have a mood wall and these are just going to give that perfect French country look and feel that I'm going for. But with these drapes, they do come on sale 30% off. And that is when we purchase them. So wait, definitely wait for the sale because it makes a huge difference. Okay, on to, these have a little bit of a story. Now, I actually own these many years ago. These are vintage. Um, they, they were purchased from, um, well, originally, not these, but from J.C. Penney's. And it was their, um, their home collection. And it's just this really, yeah, I'm going to take the sticker off so you can see. There we go homeworks collection they still can be found sometimes on ebay well these i found on facebook marketplace i actually have eight panels and i picked up all eight with a couple long scarves for just a hundred dollars huge still 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 um and they're going to go be so what i'm looking for is a double um brass curtain rod for my living room and these will actually go back behind i mean how gorgeous is this going to be they're going to go back behind my draperies that were just purchased well gifted from my husband the perfect french country look i'm so excited over here i'm so happy to be healthy again So again, you can find these possibly on Facebook Marketplace or eBay, maybe even Etsy. Okay, so these, um, oh, they're fabulous. Okay, I will be adding velvet, much more velvet into my home. These were actually purchased from Pottery Barn. I will link them in my description box. Now, I would really love to have a velvet sofa in my home, but the problem is we just have the one room, just the living room, not a living room and family room, so our sofa is highly used. And unfortunately, with all of us, five of us here in the home, a velvet just, um, that wouldn't work in a sofa. Um, but throw pillows will. <laughs> so anyhow, um, I purchased three of these from Pottery Barn. And I'll share the tag here in a moment. Um, they actually are on clearance. 
um, they give a, just the perfect muted vintage look and color, of course. Here it is, Claudine. Um, normally $59.50, and if I'm not mistaken, they're clearancing for $34. And they are um, 24 by 24, right? I believe that's what the tag stated. But again, it's just a gorgeous velvet. So wherever I can possibly add the velvet in, I will be. Really going for that aged vintage look and feel inside our home. Now, all those three colors, they just go so well with one another. And then this mood wall I'm about to bring in, goodness. Okay, next up we have Vintage from Bombay, another Facebook marketplace. I'm telling you guys, I killed Facebook marketplace when I was sick and I was sick for a long time. But anyhow, there were three of these. And they are candle holders, the perfect blue and white. Now up at top, you can put a candle, you could put a, a glass sleeve over this whole stand, It'd be beautiful. You can have flowers coming down, you could put a pillar up there. So many different things can be done with this. So there's the three and just look at the blue and white with the brass and then the wicker and then the, the fine draperies. It's all about blending up many different elements. Okay, so I have, I believe, seven of these that I will be sharing um, here. It's basic. Okay, by Home Essentials and Beyond. Okay, so these, another Facebook Marketplace find. Um, uh, a woman was selling them. They used to be her mother's. And her, her, her mother, unfortunately, um, has passed away. And I just let her know that they will definitely um, will be going into a home that will love and cherish them for years to come many different shapes and styles and again i think there's seven we'll see in a moment if not nine but i believe there's seven of them look at this one it's gorgeous love the shape i'm so excited to be adding in more of the blue and white because it, it it just brings a classy look and feel to the French country cottage home. And again, it's all about bringing in the vintage patterns with splashes of color all over. Look, it's just gorgeous. Oh, I love these pieces. They need a good cleaning. So for those of you that are looking for the blue and whites, uh, there's so many of them um, on Facebook Marketplace and eBay as well. And if you're really lucky, inside the thrift stores. But they get picked through so quickly. Now this piece I want to share, it's a misfit. You see down at the bottom and, you know, if, if I can, you know, state here, just try not to look over those misfits because they really can be worked inside um, your home decor nicely. That can be tucked inside um, a basket or, or anything to where you just don't see that uh, little damaged piece. And here's another, love the shape, the oval. And there they are displayed um, together, absolutely loving it. OK, 
here we have the stamp on the back, Lakeview, Japan, hand-painted. Another Facebook Marketplace find. And what a gorgeous scenery. Now you see down on the right-hand side that little house? I would love to spend my days there. Just imagine sitting in there with a pad and pen and doing a little bit of writing or a little bit of reading and hearing the sounds of the people just floating by on the river or the birds. Oh, how I would love a little house by a river. Now with that saucer, I have to get everything here that we have. Okay, so first I shared the bread and butter plate. Now this is a teacup saucer and every teacup saucer needs what? A teacup. <laughs> here we go. And this is going to be wonderful to sit down, have my quiet moments, um, that I so enjoy and so thankful for and have a nice cup of tea out of this beautiful blue and white teacup. Now look, you see, I'm a lefty. So if I was to hold this with my left hand, I kind of get cheated. I don't get the view. You see how they do us lefties? Anyhow, thank goodness I can use both hands. I will be having tea when I'm using this cup with my right hand. <laughs> now I have six of these there were I did purchase seven um, for $15 but the seventh one was broken so I will be placing a little plant inside of that one and there they are up at top and every teacup needs what a teapot so again Another Facebook Marketplace find. Love the birds. This is such a beautiful teapot. I picked this up for $15. Just look at this. Oh, how beautiful. The scallops at the top. It's just in perfect condition. We have no chips on this piece. And here is the stamp down at the bottom. I'm not good with all of this, so I really don't know what that stamp means. Maybe some of you do. I would love any information that you might have. Always open for the education over here. So the blue and whites are just coming al along nicely. Okay, this is a mold. Um, oh, I believe I did. I purchased this one off of eBay. A pineapple mold. And it has, uh, I think it's Thailand. Yes. I'm telling you, I put in some miles with shopping when I was in bed. And again, just the blue and whites, look, with the brass and all the, the wicker, uh, the, it's just gorgeous. Or rattan, whatever you want to call it. Now this tray was purchased from Target just recently. The bad thing, though, is Target never gets those good sales. So this basket was $25 for this tray. And look, the antique basket in the back, that was, I just paid $50 for that. That And that actually should have been way more. That, I mean, that could have, she could have asked well into the 200s for that basket. So that was kind of a find, huh? <laughs> Okay, now for the real treasures. 
I would like to share again Robin King Designs. She's a wonderful friend. Um, please do go look at her About Robin um, at her page, and it explains how picking up um, a, a her mother's artwork books off of her table actually influenced her to start this business for herself. It is a wonderful read. I highly suggest for all of you to go over to Robin. If you do, put the little blue fly in her coupon code box. Just type in the little blue fly. It will take a kind discount off of your purchase. Her work is absolutely fabulous. Now these are, I will be sharing two of them. And in my next haul, um, there will be a couple other patterns. But look at this little, the sweet golden bell around the sheep's neck. Absolutely gorgeous image. Now these towels, the tea towels, they um, they are not a linen. However, the feel to these are fabulous. They just, it's all about the feel for me when it comes to linens. The stitching is so well put together. It's a very nice size. And absolutely darling to have next to you when you sit down to have some tea. And here is the next image of her bunny with its cabbage, its head of cabbage and radishes. And with me, bunny rabbits, I've always had a love for bunny rabbits. And I don't know if I've shared with you how I, I used to actually have a little bunny, a real bunny. And um, I used to put glasses on him and hold him. And he would love when I would read Peter the Rabbit to him. Those are special moments. So those are two of her tea towels. Then Robin just started this blue and white right here. She just created this tissue box and all of it is outlined with a beautiful golden acrylic paint. And then of course she signs every piece and puts the year on it. And it has all of the vintage um, the vintage inspired crackling look on it. Just extraordinary artwork. And then I picked up another tissue box. And how sweet is this? I'm really in love with sheep right now. And um, I asked Robin, oh, could you make me one of these? And she's all, sure, Bev, because she's just super sweet like that, right? So this sheep has a, um, a couple floral uh, satchel baskets on the left and right with a little bell. Of course, the whimsy, always the touches of whimsy, the polka dots up at the top. And the image is on all four sides. Loving the blues over here, as you can see. Okay, so as you can see to the left, I have some tissue coming out of the one tissue box, but we don't have to just make it a tissue box. I have this, um, I actually purchased this just recently because I've been feeling better. I thrifted it for $2.99. The sticker is a little out of whack and that's because I moved it out of the way. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to do that when you're thrifting, but <laughs> I do. I wanted to make sure that it was pewter and there it is, pewter. So I don't, I don't know, maybe that's bad of me. How many of you do that when you're out there thrifting? You move that sticker to the side because you want to see. Um, but look, you can place little vessels on top of the tissue boxes as well. So again, you just don't have to use it for tissue. The boxes 
what I plan on doing in the future is actually making a collage out of them, putting them side by side and doing a stack of the tissue boxes. How fun would that be? Okay, so not only can you get these images on a tissue box, but she also puts them on plaques as well. Gorgeous. I mean, thank you so much, Robin. I absolutely love these. And here is her signature on the back. Now I'm going to share with you here later on in the video why I like to open up her packages with the back facing up. And just look, the blue and white dishes and then Robin's works. It's just all going so nicely with each other. Now, I just recently thrifted these. Uh, nice, rich um, navy blue, 50 cents a piece. We have a little bit of um, a little sleeve here that speaks about the author and these books, which I, I absolutely love because knowing history, you know, when I'm out here and I'm thrifting these pieces, history is everything. I always ask um, the people I'm purchasing from, what is the history that you have? Because to take stories along through time is absolutely everything to me. It's more than just decorating. Um, here are some other books, but it is the experience. It is the stories. It's the feeling um, to it all. It's not just putting decor there. So I'm going to clean these books up and um, put them into my decor. Okay, so again, how I stated, I love opening up um with the fit with the back being face up you always know because this lip right here so feel for it when you get it and then just flip it over and oh, right oh just makes you just oh. <laughs> and this is her vintage um blue and white teapot gorgeous right pretty really gorgeous Again, the acrylic painting, going the gold going all around the edges, the vintage crackle look. I'm telling you, she is just a genius at her art, with her art. I just placed it up on the book. And let's just take a glance up here for a moment at all these different treasures. Look with the terracotta, the roosters, the blue and white. And then I keep stating the wicker and the brass and the old books. It's all about mixing in the old with the new, all the different elements together. Um, and it, it just makes for a wonderful feel inside and out. Okay, so here's another um, thrifted basket. Okay, and this one right here, well, this one I purchased when my sweet Anthony boy, um, uh, he was just a little boy. So, you know, this is well over 35 years old and there's so many different recipes in here some that Anthony and Raymond brought home from when they were in public school all the little recipes and um, this will just be forever cherished but I needed a larger one um, now inside here I have this little recipe tucked in that I received from um, a friend many years ago and it was her an Italian woman and it was her hamburger minestrone and let me tell you we absolutely love this recipe as you can see there's just those food marks all over it which tells you it's an amazing recipe 
um, and so easy to make. And I add in extra things into it, you know, um, like peas and, you know, a couple bay leaves. And I know there's something else, but I will make this recipe um, one day. I will do a video for us all. And it is a fabulous, as you can see, look at those marks. It's a good <laughs> recipe. So soon. Soon we will have some hamburger minestrone. Although I don't eat hamburger, I use, I substitute um, turkey burger. Okay, so now this comes into play. It was $8.49 and I thought, hmm, it's kind of pricey for a basket. But then this tag was on it. So I said, let me do a little bit of research. So we have something called, um, well, I won't say what it's called, but it, it's something on our phone, right? That will help us look things up. Um, and this sells actually for $50 on up. So I thought, oh, okay, well, $8.49 is a good price. And my daughters, they now are finding these recipes online because we're old school like that. We still want the books and the paper recipes because again, it's all about the experience. It's all about the feeling for us here. Now, some might be fine having the feeling of having it on a computer, but we're still paper with pen in hand type of, of girls over here. So we will be placing their recipes in this basket. I placed my copper uh, measuring cups. I just wanted to give you a close-up of one for those of you that are new here. And it does have at the bottom the measurements. You can stack them or just place them all out by themselves. And the copper goes beautifully with the blue and whites. which leads us to our next pieces. How darling are these little measuring cups? Um, I believe these were purchased from eBay. It does have the sticker, whatever is left of it at the bottom. And I think these, I think you pronounce it, I could be wrong, you know me, I mutilate everything. And I, I think it is Ines is it Anesco? Uh, again, something. It's it's spelled E N E S C O. And they're going to go perfectly with next to my um, copper measuring cups. It's all about the collections of everything, right? Just having a collection of the same item together. These actually will be linked in my description box. They will be at my Amazon uh, storefront. The blue and white carrots. Super sweet. And again, it will be linked in my description box. You'll see the word more. Just click on that and my description box will drop down. Okay, so we are going to go on this journey here together these are the little things i would this is one of my favorite thrifted finds here um again the little things when i came across these i said these are hand painted these are hand painted rocks and i love hand painting rocks you know a lot of us when we go camping you know we'll paint rocks um, and put them in our gardens, you know, as memories. So I'm hoping that this tape doesn't remove any of the paint. And I believe this is just going to be a wonderful experience right here. Look at this. Let's get it all peeled back. I'm not so much going to use the bowl, but the rocks absolutely okay let's do this i 
loving the colors on this one this is um it's one of my favorite movies chitty chitty bang bang um oh look we have a name what's that b okay i can't really make that out if any of you can that would be great because it would help if it wasn't blurred okay there we go is it b-o-u G-B-Y? I'm not sure. But anyhow, that reminds me of the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Love it. Look at this one. Such detailing. Little vase with some ribbon and flowers and greenery. Having items like this in my home is just simply everything. These will not go outside. And we have this one. I'm not quite sure what flower that is. And <gasps> yellow. Oh, now, I love this. I'll probably display the yellow side. Ooh, I'm seeing a little cat. <laughs> how cute. How, look at this. <laughs> oh, how creative. A little caterpillar. How fun. So when I'm at the thrifting store, you know, when I'm out thrifting, I really pay attention to everything. Look at this. Okay, at first glance, I thought it was a badger. But then if you look, no, no. Look at the back. You can see a tail. This is a fox. I mean... We, ha we have a true artist here. And then look at the stone, the way it goes. They made what looks like a bear inside of a cave. So creative. I will forever keep these. Now, I don't know what that sticker is about. It's wonderful. Now that really, that takes a creative mind. And here we have a plain one and maybe it was placed in here because she wants us to paint our own rock. My thought. We have a sweet little tiger kitty here. This is so whimsy. Really reminds me, has a look and feel of Alice in Wonderland. Beautiful detailing. I mean, look, I'm over here finding so much pleasure. Oh, look, we have another one. Okay. I just don't know. I just cannot make this out for anything. Maybe you guys can. Anyhow, beautiful painting, floral work, front and back. I'll probably display it on that side with the green. And this, look. Oh, a flowering pot. Love the lavender color and all of the colors. I mean, what a find. That is something really, really, really special. Now the bowl, I just don't have any use for that. Not as, as of now. But what wonderful pieces. I'm gonna scoot them, make sure that you all can see them really good together. Look, I just, I just love that caterpillar. He's, he's, he needs a name. We need to name him. I really like him. Okay, we're right here at the home stretch again. This is part one of two. So this Sunday... We have more of these plaques, not this Sunday, next week. I will be sharing um, just one more plaque and another 
tissue box but I have one more special and this is um, a platter a larger one um, that I will be sharing and it's a beauty they're all beauties but okay this Sunday sunroom decorating hall and this piece will be in it again feel for the lip at the bottom of her packages so the back will be facing up and then just when you flip it over you're just gonna go oh my goodness look at this <laughs> are you ready you ready i'm excited okay we're gonna do this together feel for that lip we're on the back side and here we go mm. oh my gorgeous how about that <laughs> absolutely love 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 this goose again you have the acrylic painting going around the edges make sure when you visit her website in the coupon code just type the little blue fly you will receive an immediate discount on your purchases this comes in a green and a blue thank you all so much for your love and your support let's give this a thumbs up if you appreciated it and get so i can get back into this algorithm <laughs>